For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Atwell's Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm going to do a bit of a review video on an iconic tent from Van Gogh. So with me here today I've got the Amiga. So the Amiga sits in kind of Van Gogh's backpacking collection uh, and basically it's a stable model that's been in their collection for easily about sort of eight or nine years now. And What we have here is the latest version with a few tweaks uh, and generally a bit more of a story behind the sort of fabric as well. One of the joys of the Amigas is the fact that it's kind of like a, uh, a like an adventure tent, something you could take away with the family for um, just a normal sort of camping trip, or if you want to take up the mountain because you've got buckets, rooms of space, and a whole kind of front section with a ground sheet as well. So it's perfect for actually storing your kit, um, and it's very multi-purpose in the way it can be used. You've got an aluminium poles, so it's really quite nice and strong. They're colour coordinated as well, so you've got little tabs located, so you've got a a little tab located there, a little one there which is actually blue rather than the uh, normal kind of, we'll call it grey, and that will signify that it's got a blue section to it, so you, again you can see where poles are meant to go before you actually feed them through and find out you get it wrong. The material we've got here is kind of their um, Protex Eco fabric, so it's a 70 denier material, it's got a nice real kind of emboss to it, and it actually feels a bit more thicker than say a normal 70 d would do. Uh, it's actually made from um, basically single-use plastic. So you take things like a, a plastic bottle, basically they make it into chips. Um, the chips then gets melted down and extruded out into yarn to make the lovely fabric we have with today. So it's a, a whole real nice cycle, a really nice eco story behind it. So it's, you know, it's rather than, it's putting waste to something good, you know. Um, other things to mention, the fact are we've got webbing straps located in the bottom, really nice and easy, so you can get some great tension onto it. As previously mentioned, the ground sheet does come supplied with it, and it's a really quite a nice funky colour, something a little bit different uh, in comparison. There's two doors on either side, uh, and you've got a mesh on the far side and a normal one on this. It's worth also mentioning that it's available in two sizes, so you've got the 250, um, or you can go for the 350. So. This one here is the, is the sort of slightly more small, smaller one, so it's the 250. Um, from a weight point of view, you're looking in the region about 4.4 kilograms and about 5 grams for the smaller version. Uh, when you go up to the 350, you're looking more in the region of about 5 kgs. So it, yeah, it's a little bit heavier. So between three of you, though, it's not too bad. For me, I do quite like the two, just because it's a, it's a very generous two when you look at the floor dimensions. You're looking about 70 centimeters per person in the sleeping section, which is very generous, for, especially for like a small small tent as such. We've got windows in the front section as well to allow light in, but we've got privacy curtains located behind it again to you know, do that as well. It's actually part of the Duke of Edinburgh um, recommended kit, so again it's, it's a really nice big seal of approval. Um, and one thing of inside you've also got is kind of Van Gogh's TBS system. Now what essentially is stands for tension band system. It creates a triangular point in the middle, and we're going to bring the camera in a second. We can have a look at that. Uh, it gives it basically more structure and keeps the sort of the shape of the tent uh, in more of a, a dynamic place. Die ropes are all really nice and high visibility. There's little flints throughout there, so when you have like torch and stuff, it actually it reflects back. So again, you can easily by be identified and not have someone tripping over up over all your bits. Let's kind of actually bring the camera inside and kind of actually look a bit more about the Amiga. So actually, we'll walk around and kind of actually look at the uh, the mesh door to give you a bit more appreciation for that. So again, it really helps kind of keep the airflow directly into the actual tent itself, um, and especially when you're sort of in sort of prime uh, mid season uh, and if you're camping by a lake, you know that's a really quite nice feature. There is also um, ventilation points located at the back. So again, it helps to increase airflow uh, and hopefully reduce sort of condensation. Being a nice small compact size, you are going to, especially two people in there, be it whatever is going on from the weather wise, you are going to get sort of you know a decent level of condensation throughout that actual tent itself. As we kind of go, you see kind of the rise of ground sheet. It's quite nice actually. It lips itself up, but you can lip it down as well. So basically, it means you haven't got a trip hazard directly in, but it gives that more sealed effect. And it means also you're not having to worry about the water coming down and driving straight through it. It attaches to the actual um, inner tent at the front here as well. 
So again, it kind of makes it a more nice connect, a decent sort of size. As you like I said, it's, it's bigger than you necessarily think. You also got the ventilation point at the top. Storage pockets all down both sides as well. So you can, like I said, put things like keys, phones, or whatever in there quite nice and neatly. Don't mind if I get into bed. Oh. So again, I'm just I'm not fully in. Let's go all the way to the back. There we go. So really good height. You know, naturally you're probably sleep the other way around, so your head is actually the, at the correct end. But all in all, it's really quite spacious, I think, you know, especially for a backpack tent. It's bigger than you necessarily would think. We've also got a zipped up part there, so we can actually enclose the south, but we've also got a mesh to it, so you can still get sort of, again, that, that bit of airflow coming throughout that. Storage pocket down the bottom as well, just to keep it all neat and tidy. I Means you haven't got to be the best up. Sort of rolling it away and keeping it all neat and tight. And that's then the TBS system drops down, pop it in the pockets, really. It's something I would put in merely because um, if it's slightly uh, windy weather or you're leaving tent for a little period of time, it will make a difference in kind of using it. Something they've used in kind of their backpacking tents for a number of years and even their kind of high end stuff. So it does work and that's why we kind of do like it. And, For more information on kind of the Amiga, you're welcome to check the link below this video. It'll take you straight through to our website with more information on things like the pack sizes, the weights as we talked about, uh, floor diagrams, you can compare the 250 to the 350, as well as more information on prices and offers we do have on the product. Um, but really that's kind of everything. If all well means let us know what you think of the Amiga, it's always good to have feedback, good, bad or ugly. But all in all, hopefully it's been helpful uh, and we should hopefully see you again in our next Atmos video review. That's been the Mango Amiga in the 250 and the 350 size.